Hello and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi, my name's Stephen and today we're going to be doing a walk around video of this fantastic Nissan X-Trail TL turbo diesel. As you'll see from the front of this car, it presents really well. Looking at the paintwork on the car, you can see on the bonnet, nice real stone chips that I can see going across the front. Looking at the front bar, right down, we've got our fog lamps there as well. Really good condition, nice big chrome bar on the front. It does have a few little sort of stone divots in it, nothing that stands out. As you come back further, a couple of little touch-ups on the front there, being picky though, uh, are hard to see. We've got our washer jets on there for our headlamps as well, sticking out the front. Coming around to the driver's side, looking at the guard in good condition as well. Paintwork presents really well. The rim in really good condition. There is a little bit of a gutter rash there. Looking at the tyre, nice full depth tyre, so really good tread on this car. Coming through, colour coded mirrors as well, really good size. We've got our chrome door handles on the driver's door. We do have a couple of little marks on the door there, as you can see coming through. And then there are a few more on the outside of this car as you come down through. As I said, nicely styled windows as well, nice and big, easy to see out of for the kids in the back, which is really good. Looking at our back tyre, very good tread on the back there. Looking at the rim condition, really good. A little bit of a rash there where it's been touched as well. Nothing really major. Coming around to the back, as you can see, really good. We've got our high mount wiper here as well. Got the high mount stop lamp. And then if our cameraman wants to show you the roof, because I'm a bit short and can't see up there, really good condition. We've got our crossbars, roof racks as well genuine product there. All right, so you've got your button underneath, opening up the back, nice big door, presents really well. As you open it up, it's nice and high, so you're not gonna hit your head getting in here. Got our genuine cargo blind, which pulls out, nice big handle underneath. So that's easy to flick back and give you plenty of room there as well. The good thing here is we've got storage drawers as well. They do have a little handle underneath. You've got your dividers in there, which is really good on the right hand side. On the left hand side here, we've got our tow bar as well, so that's nice in there. We do have a 12 volt socket on the left hand side, and as, as we look, just to point out, there being a hard plastic surface, they do mark a little bit. On the right hand side there, there is a little bit of marking. As I said, we've got our genuine tow bar there, so that's going to give you a 1.35 ton towing capacity. Really good for a small car as well. So as we come back further down, coming around, you've got your nicely styled tail lights in there as well. Coming around to the left hand side. Now this is usually where you're gonna see some more damage on a car. Presenting really well, looking at the tire depth, once again, good tires. Looking at the rim, a little bit of a glue there left on it. Rim on the left hand side presents really well. Coming through the, the uh, passenger door, some light scratching on the car, nothing major at all, very, minor there is one little mark there um, coming further through the mirror presents really well hasn't been hit at all uh, coming to the guard looks great looking at the tire very good depth in the tire as well and even the rim really good condition as well so around to the front of the car now I'm going to show you under the bonnet here oh, with our two litre turbo diesel engine Really good, giving you 110 kilowatts. We've got our bonnet latch up on the bonnet there. So a little bit different to the others, goes down on the side there. As I said, 110 kilowatts produced out of this fantastic engine. 320 newton meters of torque. All this is coupled with the six speed auto, four by four transmission. Giving you an average fuel consumption of 8.1 liters per 100 kilometers. So out of our 65 litre tank, we're looking at around 802 kilometres of travelling. So now to the inside of this fantastic Nexon X-Trail. As you can see on the right hand side here, we've got all our controls for our windows. You've got your door lock button and your window lock button and your mirror controls as well, which is really good. As we come a bit further down, our cameraman might be able to just see there for you. You do have your traction stability control button there. Coming up, we do have auto headlights as well, which is really good, and our indicators on the right-hand stalk. As we move across to the left-hand side, we do have rain-sensing wipers here, so you can put them in auto mode as well, which is why we have a nice big sensor up behind our mirror there. 
looking at the steering wheel, really nicely styled, nice grip. We've got our cruise control uh, on the right hand side here, nice and easy to use. We have our radio controls on this side as well, so we can skip through as well. Looking at the dash, it's very easy to read, gives you all your readout and information you need. Coming across to the centre of the car, you can see here we've got a nice little in-dash storage compartment, so you can store your phone and your keys and stuff up there that you don't need. As we come down further, we do have a satellite navigation unit in here as well. All touch screen, so you've got your FM radio, you can bring up as well. You've got your sat nav on there showing you exactly where you are, which does give you the reverse camera on the car as well. So really good there. Looking further down, we've got our hazard lights as well. And then we've got our climate control settings here, so we can, let's just turn that down a bit because it is a bit warmer today. Coming down further, you've got your four-wheel drive control and your heated seat controls, which is why my seat was getting a bit warm. So you do have uh, heated seats in here, which is fantastic for those cold days. Downhill descent control as well. And then your nice little dial for your four-wheel drive mode. So you have got two-wheel drive, auto and lock modes as well for your four-wheel drive system. Putting it back in the park, as you come down further, we've got our cup holders and our nice small uh, handbrake handle there. And then to the centre console, looking down in there, nice little storage compartment as well. As you look through the condition of the car, as we just scan through and look at the condition of the leather seats, very good throughout the car. There is a little minor marking which we will show you afterwards just to point out on the driver's seat. Looking up further, we've got our sunglass holder, our lights, and I don't know how this is going to work for our cameraman, but we do have a nice big sunroof as well, which is fantastic. Sorry, the other thing we'll do, last, before I forget, is our service history on this car. Absolutely fantastic. All done locally here, right throughout, as soon as I can find the first one. So the first one done at 10,000 kilometres as it should be. Going right through, this car looks to have been serviced every 10,000 kilometres. So we've got our 15,000 it was done at as well. So they didn't quite make the 20, but as you can see, skipping through, walking through, you've got your 25,000 done there. All done at Berwick uh, Nissan as well. So as you can see, 40,000 kilometre service done as well. There, you've got your 40,000 um, done. Coming through some more, 50,000 right through, keep going. 60,000. So as you can see, they didn't drive the car for a little while and now they've, so they're doing the 70,000, but they're keeping up with the servicing intervals on the time as well, which is really good. And then you've got your 90,000 done as well. So you've got 82,000 on this side and then you've got 89 on this side. So really good service, right up to date, all through uh, Berwick Nissan. As I said, I just wanted to point out the little mark on the uh, leather seats here. You can see it's just a little bit of wear on there, nothing major, and just there as well. We just like to be really upfront for our interstate drivers. So that's our walk around video today of our 2010 Nissan X Trail. As you can see, presents really well for its age, really well looked after car. So if you have any questions, please give us a call on 9907 555. And thanks for watching.